Hi, this is Kits and Snips, and today we'll be building something just a little bit different than a Gundam. This is the Premium Bandai Exclusive, High Grade Gurren Type 8 Elements, Seten. Now this kit is not a Gundam kit, however it is still a Bandai kit, and was a Premium Bandai Exclusive, so like a lot of the kits I get, are a little bit harder to get your hands on. I will say I really do like this manual, as it does have the characters from the anime in it helping you along with your build, and I think it's a very nice touch that Bandai should really adopt going forward, as it does give a little bit of extra life to this manual. When it comes to this kit with the effects, the two translucent wings are very nice and do come in their own separate bag, though I will say they do love to keep fingerprints on them so do be aware of that going forward. It also includes more than just your standard style decals, and also includes a gem style decal for the actual hand in the unit, which does come up later. But with all that being said, let's get into that build.
And here it is completed. This kit is huge. And even without the wings attached to it, it is a beefy kit that I've had to back up quite a bit just so that you can get the full picture of what you get when you build this kit. It looks astounding. When it comes to size, this kit is bulky. He has massive shoulders. He's taller than the RX-78. He's wider than the RX-78. He is just overall very dominant to the RX-78 when it comes to size. However, these two don't really match up in scale. So it's not a good representation of what the two would look like if they were in the same universe. But its size isn't the only amazing thing about this kit, as it does have a lot of options for its posability, including an extension for its arm that allows its claw to go further out so it can grab onto things. Or if you prefer something a little more high octane, you can drop down the wheels in the back of the legs and attach the secondary wrist that does have a couple of bars that act in the anime as a heating element that makes the hand shoot out a blast of heated energy, though this doesn't have an effect part for that type of situation. And if all that wasn't enough, it can even detach the claw and attach it to an action base with a wire. It even has two other javelins mounted to its shoulders it can have in a launching position attached to a black wire as well. This kit is extremely versatile and I haven't even got to the main selling point yet. That being the wings, they're just so nice with the clear red and it hits the light good and it's just, it's a really just good look for this kit. And Accessory I forgot to mention, of course, is the heat dagger that I have in the hand there now. It just really is a nice kit to really just have. And while I did enjoy this kit a lot, I would be remiss not to talk about some of the issues it does have, including the wheels in the back of the legs. They are attached only by a ball joint and do have some issues if you are moving the leg about as they're not properly connected to the leg so it's not one cohesive piece. When it comes to the wings as well, the arms are very stiff and it only has two real good points of articulation and you have to struggle a bit to get the wings in certain poses. But outside those two minor issues, I would say this kit is a definite purchase for anyone that does like Code Geese or is looking for a kit that is just a little bit different than your standard Gundam build, but still has good quality. Music for this video was once again brought to you by Upbeat, not sponsored, with the song Absorbed in a Point by Orange and Mountains. Link to the music, as always, will be in the description, so show the artist some love. And as always, thank you so much for watching the video. If you leave a like, it does help the channel grow and bring my videos to more people. And subscribe if you do enjoy as well, so you can see more videos as they come down the pipeline. I'm more than happy to answer any questions on this kit if you want to leave me a comment below. Or if you have built this kit, let me know. I would love to hear your thoughts on the kit and how your build went with it. Either way, thank you so much again. This is Kits and Snips saying, have fun building.